This conference will now be recorded. That starts today's session. In today's session, I'm going to discuss about uh, a concept called pagination in the jungle. That means when we have multiple records in database, like for example, 100 records, if we bring all the 100 records and display into the web page, to see all the records one by one, you have to scroll up and down of the web page. So that's what, what we can do here. So we can do this pagination. So if you do pagination, then we can arrange that 100 records inside particular page means you can also decide how many number of records do you want to display per page so this is the simple concept actually so pagination is the process of display data into different pages pagination allow us to split data into multiple pages django will provide classes to manage page data so what classes will provide django means this is paginator class and page class. These two classes are there. Paginator, paginator class, and then page class. These two classes. Django will provide these two classes, paginator as well as page class, to work with pagination concept in Django. Pagination is the process of display data into different pages. And it will allow us to split data into multiple pages. So how to work with pagination, we'll discuss one by one. First, here two examples I want to show you. Example number one, pagination by using function-based view. And next example number two, pagination by using class-based view by using class based view pagination by using function based view first example and pagination by using class based view example number two these two examples i need to discuss sir. pagination by using function based view and pagination by using class based view okay yeah first we'll start with function based view in the same application i'll include the code called class based view also <coughs> Let's create a new application here to show the pagination concept. So go to terminal and first let activate virtual environment scripts slash activate. And here we need to create the application python space manage.py start app. So I'm giving clearly the application name pagination app. Python space manage.py start app pagination app. So once we create application, this application we have to include into settings. Where in this project settings are. Let's see this application is creating or not. Okay. The application also created. So after that, we have to include into project settings installed apps. Pagination app. Okay. So this is enough in the settings.py. Now let's try to go with pagination app directly. In this pagination app, what we need to do, we need to go for first models because when we have multiple records in database table, then that records we should bring it and display into page wise. So first of all, I need to create a simple model here. So that is model class book. This model is generated from model start model class. And here I'm trying to take three fields, title, and author, description. So title of the book. So model start what actually care field max length then I'm taking the UPHUR author equals to model start care field max length is 20 I'm taking 
and description of both book equals to model start text field max length equals to 300 characters description title author description okay yes so now i'm trying to <coughs> include this model first we have to create this model how to create this model so clear screen and python space manage.py make migrations once we make migrations migration file created book model and we have to create migrate also manage.py migrate migration is also done once migration is done now this time as per my convenient i need to include into this model into admin.py server because i can go to admin panel there i can able to insert few records here here also we can manage but it's not flexibly to manage here the records wrong because lengthy data i have to insert okay yeah so for a change so anyway we have uh, to create admin registration also normal registration how to do just first in admin.py um, your application pagination app dot models what model is there book model this model i have to in include into admin panel let's create book admin class and admin dot model admin colon and list display okay list display equals to then what is order id next title <coughs> next author uh, description next we have to include this registration admin dot register of what actually book once we do like this you will be able to see this table into admin panel how to go to admin panel you know very well simply we can go to manage.py run server and after that i'm just moving towards admin panel now admin panel i'm moving here so to go to admin panel what we recommend slash admin and our super user is after login admin panel now you can see we have our pagination app lot of books information is there we can add books now so we can add books like this i'm trying to add title of the book is python author is python software foundation and about this python we can add the description if you want about that python you can go to google and about python and type it so we'll get description about python let's copy this and go to this admin panel and paste into here so save and another again save and whether it is saying uh, this username and password especially this uh, it is admin panel is not working for the for your project only remaining project is working okay leave it about this admin panel especially your project morning 6 30 am project admin panel is not working properly keep on asking me to change the password or something okay, i can ignore this i can go to what other option we have other options no problem so what options we have just observe here go to database right click on it refresh and here only i can insert not a problem our model name is whatsapp pagination app underscore book right click and edit dot now we can see even that record also not inserted do you want to insert more records like this plus 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 i need 10 records insertion so title of the book is python python next author of the book is psf <clears throat> description i'm copying here so i'm copying what i'm copying just now whatever i collect from google that i'm copying sir but all the subjects i'm taking same description only sir you if you want you can do other description also okay yes i don't want to waste time to add multiple description so next what actually django 
is my authorized Django Software Foundation. And here we can go for Django description if you want. Okay, got my point. <clears throat> About Django also you can type. So Django about copy this and go to here and paste here only. Next I'm trying to do test API is the title and here again author is Django Software Foundation. About REST API do you want to include? So go for about REST API. DRF. DRF means Django REST Foundation. So disaster really fun. What is this? I mean Django REST framework. So this I'm inserting. Next I'm taking flask. These are not official authors, just I'm giving, okay? About Flask. I'm taking Microsoft it is also about ASP doctor. Sir, your voice is not audible, sir. It's very low. Now is it okay? Yes, sir. I Not speaking that's what you are not getting voice so about SQL I'm typing here this is description uh, proper description I'm using but it's not required compulsory just I'm giving SQL sir and then uh, web API Again, the author is Microsoft. Let's copy this and script this like this. And finally, we can go for Oracle and uh, Oracle is a corporation. these are my 10 records which I'm going to place it and update it all so we have 10 records right now in my database table so these 10 records okay these 10 records 
uh, I need to display properly okay so where in the uh, template zone but here 10 records are there I don't want to display 10 records at once I need to display three records or four records in each page so this is what actually pagination concept will come into the picture we have to split this all records and we have to display one by one to do this we need to write some code where we have to write code in the view section actually okay so let's close this all tabs okay now i'm trying to go to pagination app so here model is there it's okay model available and now coming to this view section i'm trying to go over to view section so in this view section we have to write some code sir what code we are writing you will see first of all i need model okay because for this model only i'm creating pagination from model will come from pagination app dot models import what book model and also as i said that to work with pagination class to work with pagination concept we have two classes in django one is paginator class another one is page class so right now i'm using these classes and also it's coming from django dot or dot paginator import what is paginator from django dot core dot paginator import paginator class and now let me create a view here so df underscore my view name is pagination or underscore page underscore view request object i'm using this is the function based view know, first example i'm showing what pagination by using function based view yes function based view through only i am showing pagination concept not about class based view function based view so i am writing this code here page underscore view first we have to create query set object query set object means we have to bring all the records from book model or not yes so that's what i am trying to take all underscore pages is my query set object these all pages are coming from where book model dot objects dot all simple this is very simple to bring all the record from model this is the concept all underscore pages equals to book dot objects dot all now next i am trying to create paginator object it is object only you can take any name equals to we need to create object for what class paginator class this paginator class is coming from where here only and we need to inject this all pages query set object into paginator class okay but here very important thing is you must and should provide here only for the paginator class this is object of the class here all pages means how many all records will come and this in this case we have to decide how many records each page do you want to display i am deciding three records in each page so three records are there or not all underscore pages equals to three means three records are displaying in each page only this is important sir you can decide page size here only here okay paginator paginator is an object paginator is a class all underscore pages comma three records i'm displaying per page next to what i'm trying to do i'm trying to create page number object page underscore number this is not user uh, it is not predefined it's completely user defined sir. page underscore number equals to request dot request dot get method it is django server method you can see wsga request is coming or not get method capital letter get okay get dot this is what normal uh, html get response okay template response it is get and the page is required the name is called page only i'm giving so get i want to get this page only page number equals to request dot get dot get and whenever we change the page number automatically new page will be rendered this page number we have to assign to the get page method so let's create one more object that is page object equals to paginator is an object look at this this is a paginator is object what object this object i am using here this object through i am calling get page method get page method 
of what I am supplying here, page number I am supplying, page number, page underscore number, this object I am supplying to here only. Finally, this page object we need to send it to what? Template. So let's go for return, render, current request and your HTML pages, pages.html I am providing and context is what actually I am providing context is page underscore obj colon page underscore obj that's all finally we need to create what page html page pages.html let's try to create a template now templates now go to new html pages.html in this html page main priority here this html page only will display the pagination concept clearly but look at this if i try to use uh, h1 section or h2 section book details or any details you can give but let me try to print here multiple pages are coming so compulsory how to use for loop for page in page object better to go for end for end for i'm taking after doing end for so i am trying to display here okay h1 section or h2 section i can say that or h1 section any section you can use total i want to display this title first i want to display page dot title i have to display id i don't want because automatic generated page title next in the h3 section page dot author name page dot author in the paragraph section page dot description page dot description page dot description okay this is the case look at this here i am not going to use any this code i am not going to use just normal you can observe here okay so this code i'm not going to use comment it okay i'm i'm post i'm passing here all pages here okay all pages is a my context only i'm not implementing any pagination concept okay pages.html i'm using page.title page.author page.description whenever we set the url yes let me set the url also pagination app go to new Python file urls.py. Here I am taking from Django.urls import path. From pagination app import views URL patterns equals to path and no name I am giving views dot what page underscore view. This URL we have to include into project level URLs immediately. Django 6:30 a.m. project level URLs. CLS2 hash path. Now here I can say include. I'm trying to do pagination app dot two path ends. And now the moment when we run this, so look at this, it's not having any pagination concept. Directly all the pages are coming or not. Title, Python, author, description. Okay, all the pages are coming. How many records? 10 records. So you want to display ID also, <clears throat> you can display the ID also here. Let's see this ID also I'm going to display. Page dot ID. Also, display here now coming to this ID number one Python PSF title author all this total how many records 10 records so there is no pagination concept okay yes but I want to arrange the pagination concept because of that's only I am including this lines let's uncomment now this time you can see how many pages are coming three pages three pages only okay three pages I am giving so, but here we need to change what page object here, page object. 
three three records sorry three, three pages now three records are coming into single page but when we run this only what records will come first the three records will come sir when we run this because there is no option in the html template to move next page no look at this first second third three records only but remaining next three records how to display yes it is there in next page so page by page how to transfer to do that next page option what we need to use in this html template we have to write some logical script that is dtl format so let me write in the pages.html some code so code is required this code is i'm writing here first one division section uh, totally i'm trying to take one division section here div div means division in this division what i'm taking one span section i'm taking and this span i'm writing code like this if page object okay page object dot as as underscore previous if page underscore obj dot has previous previous link i have to provide and simply what we can do end if here first of all end if end if if page object dot has previous end if in this what i am trying to do anchor tag i am providing that means link i have to provide so here what i can do that fetch ref is there okay question mark page class is there built in page class equals to equals to double floor brackets in this double floor bracket we have to use page object dot previous page number page underscore obj dot previous underscore page underscore number previous underscore page underscore number we have to use and the link what i am trying to give here the previous this is i have to provide So what is the wrong here? It's a ref. It's a ref equals to double quotes. This we have to include uh, page. Yeah, this is correct. Okay. So this is exactly what's are here. Uh, here we have to include this double quotes. This is correct, sir. Link is going to be created. So this is one span tag. <clears throat> so only previous link will come previous text if you want to move back previous uh, page you can click on previous automatically it will bring you previous page records only. this is previous but in the middle what i need to provide page numbers also i need to provide page numbers on which page you are moving towards like for page numbers one more span tag i am taking for span <clears throat> one more span tag i am preparing span tag in this span tag, what I am using here, double flower brackets, page underscore obj dot number, because page number I have to provide. The span tag is going to be closed. Okay. Next, what I am trying to do, next span tag after. Okay. So one more span tag I am trying to take. So what is that? If condition page has next button is there, next option is there. Here. First Sir, span the is there. above span tag, uh, you didn't create the previous page number in the view section, right? Previous not required, automatically link through it will go to previous number. Here you can see page numbers automatically change with page property. Next previous links through it will go. These are built in Django template properties previous underscore page underscore number these are not related okay, to these are not related to view view is only okay, sending sir. the records view is only sending the records three records per page but if right now only we are able to see three records only there is no option in the template to move backward or forward so i am creating my own links here so if page object has previous then href i'm providing link for this what link previous link and user click on previous it will go to previous page and in the middle automatically page numbers will be generated 
after page but number you created. used the previous page number in the uh, double uh, curly braces right uh, this uh, double uh, curly braces are used only when a uh, view section objects are, uh, have to render here so i'm uh, i uh, asked you that view section object is coming okay but this is template language syntax so automatically dijango framework will allow the pagination all these paginator classes are there no inbuilt so it is having the functionality called moving forward and backward direction like direction like this that we have to capture it and we have to use this built in properties okay sir yeah got it sir got it previous page number means it will go previous next property also i have to use after displaying the page number in the middle so next to what we need to display same logic you have to display what is that let copy this one and paste into here and if page object has next now it's not previous next then page object dot next page number we have to use next page number next underscore page underscore number and here i have to give the link next only then end if span tag will be closed one more span tag also i need to use here so here i'm trying to close this span tag only one span tag is there but this code is required when you want to go with clear pagination concept let's try to run this now the records all are coming but we will decide three records only but you just observe here bottom corner first number is there that means we are in first number record if you click on second page next page records four five six are coming look at this previous link is there bottom corner second number is there we are in the second page next button means next it will go again next means next it will go finally i am giving my page size is how much it is three where i have provided three size this is in the view section so first page three records second page three records third page three records fourth page is having only one record this record we can call it as orphan record means alone even if you want to go for previous you can click on previous previous like this even if you want to go with page numbers here also on the url page equals to one means directly can go to one next 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 previous but there is one technique is there do you want to bring this orphan record that means last record into previous uh, page only if you want to display then there is a op option is there you can see orphans equals to one so that means this orphan record is going to display into where last page only last page means third page only four three four records will come first page three record next page four five six three records third page is having four records seven eight nine ten because orphans equals to one means orphan record also we bring into previous page like third page only. and what order it is displaying now same order but do you want to change the order also then you can see here we can use order by what actually title order by title i want to use order by title means your records will be displayed into according to title alphabetical order look at this first page is having seventh record directly because asp.net title cshop.net django next page flask java oracle next page python rest api sql server web api w is the last so this is order of the records we are displaying by using this function basically so simply multiple records which are coming from server or database and we have to divide that multiple records into page wise this is what actually pagination by using what view function based view but i am trying to go with pagination with class based view also how to work with class based view using pagination simple so we have to create class let's try to create a class based view how it will work here okay uh, to work with class based view what we need to do just try to understand right now in the url section i am giving a few n i am taking because it's a function based view too later i will come with the one more url including class based view only. okay now in this view section 
let me create class based view to create class based views what we need to do list view detail view compels are required suppose here i'm trying to go with list view first already we discussed list view details view in the last lecture from django dot views django dot views dot generic import list view detail view why is that detailed view also yes sometimes user wants to see the particular page details okay vertical page number details he want so particular record details he wants so details view through also we can use list view means all records detail means single record and along with that sometimes user will enter the page number wrong so automatically i need to redirect that person to the first page only if he enter page number wrong automatically i want to redirect them into first page for that purpose i am using one more uh, library that is http import http 404 yes page not found means 404 only so that we can avoid that http 404 i am using next try to create a class based view class i am giving my class based view page list view and it is generated from list view now you can see model is what actually book model and template name equals to same template what is that pages.html and uh, if you want to uh, decide page numbers you can decide by using page net by here page number decision purpose we use a property called page net by it's a built-in three pages three three records i want to display do you want to display orphan record also page net Orphan equals to one. Orphan means only one record. Last record which is orphan. Orphan means simple sir. Only one record which is display a separate page. That page will come and join into the previous page automatically. These two, this one is optional, not compulsory. Okay, and you can remove this one. Comment it. Page net by is compulsory because how many records do you want each page? You can decide that. Three records I am using, or four records, any number as per your requirement. But I, I have to work with the details view also. So details view. But before details view, user wants to get a particular uh, page records. Suppose user is trying to give some page number wrong. Okay. In the URL section, I need to write some function also here in the page list view class. What is the function means? DEF get underscore context underscore data. Elf get underscore context underscore data of self comma star arts dot star kwr this already we discussed in my previous lecture i think so and here what actually there is a chance of accept that's what here i'm taking here a block first time i'm trying to give try block I'm trying to use try block inside the try block. What I'm trying to do return super dot return super of what actually page list view page list view underscore context underscore data. I block is okay so if everything is fine user is trying to get particular page records page number if it is entered correct then i have to go to this one only, page list view and get context to data is okay if user is trying to enter some wrong entry so accept block http 404 page number not found so immediately i need to send that request into what actually page equals to one first page i need to send automatically page number one again here written this one i have to accept the block also get underscore context so this code is only for what actually if user is trying to give wrong page number i should bring them into first page only and if later i need to create one more class based view that is what page detail view user wants to see the particular page details particular record so details view i'm using page under page details view 
should be narrated from detailed view class. We have already built in class. So, what model you have to assign? Book model. What template name you have to use? So detail.html. Separate template page I have to prepare. Fine. So, right now we have to create a detail.html page template compulsory along with pages.html. Let's go to templates folder. HTML. Detail .html. In this detail.html page, what I am using is normal details and H2 section. Uh, book is the built in context. T I T L E title. Again, this section is the default context. And paragraph section. Book. section. Book the Next, uh, we have to set the URLs. So we have already function based view, we set the URL, but now we need to go for class based view. So here I'm using class based view through, I'm using pagination, CLS I'm using. View start, what is your class based page list view dot as we with the function. And we need to go for particular page details also, detail view also there. So that's what I'm using detail slash in pk primary key id we have to supply and based on that id views dot page details view dot as new we'll try to execute now so this is the class based view through we are doing so so page net by equal to three page net dot one record is not there only three pages three records are displaying in each page once i click on this link and now try to get this here slash cls and music cls means class based view to get the same result three records first page next page next page like this and our fun record is still is there or not? yes uh, now if user is trying to give wrong number page number 30 here do you have any 30 number no automatically it will redirect away first page only. look at this first page this is what i am using if user is correct page, then we, it will bring page number. If user is enter wrong, wrong page, then it will go for first page only. Right now we are in page two. If user is trying to enter wrong page here in the URL, I should bring them into page number one only. So that logic I have written there. But do you want to go for orphan equals to one also here? You can uncomment page net underscore orphan equals to one. One record will be available over there. In the same way now let's try to rerun this cls so first page three records second page three records third page four records or front page record also correct but do you want to get details of particular record you can also use detailed view i already have mentioned no detail slash id number one means only first record details will come detail slash id number two Details class ID number three line. This is about simple pagination concept in Django. But how the pages response means because of this pages.html, what we have written this script only. Sir. So has previous property and has next property and uh, page number in the between what page you are in, we have to show this is optional because we are in which page it will clearly mention the page object dot number but here also it's not more look and feel here if you want to make look and feel sometimes actually in reality page number bar will come page number bar means bootstrap bar that is that i'll discuss in the rest api rest api it will make us flexibility to weigh the design of pagination again this pagination concept will come in the rest api also so, so this is pagination Tell me that uh, page object is coming from that uh, class means uh, it is a uh, default object. The, that contact object uh, name is a uh, page object only, sir. No, it's a not default. We have already mentioned in the view section. No, here. 
page object uh, page object here here, here it is coming but class based view it's not it's not coming because it is already it is available in default only in this page list view okay the context mm -hmm. object name is uh, by default page of page underscore object only i think yeah. exactly 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 that's what i uh, to avoid confusion you can give any name also not a problem here but i'm okay, giving yes, standard so name. you told that uh, we can't we can change that using that context object name yeah, that also we can do it not a problem here okay. context object name we can mention that we can able to change it sir once again but, if you don't mind once again explain this uh, function sir with the context the get context uh, data this is oh. get underscore context dot, uh, underscore uh, data where, this where? functions inside inside uh, inside class Inside class, what is a oh, chart? Get underscore, see, get underscore context underscore data means what data is coming from context, that data is coming. Context already we mentioned here, book. Book automatically it will bring all the records. So here star arch means num number of records. Star star kw arch means each record is having key, key and values. ID number one. ID is a key, one is a value. Name, uh, title is a key, title is a value and description description text is a value so key value pairs that are and here in this try block while getting the context data if uh, try block is going to be respond as so if everything is fine then try block will return this context data if sometimes user is entering wrong page in the url section that page is not found actually http 404 page not found error exception class it is and we are bringing them into automatically page number one back to the user Again, the context also should display over there. Context means data only, which is coming from uh, database model. This is the model. Get context data is a built-in function for this class view. But how it is act as a page object? No, this is context. This is also built-in, but I am not giving proper. Uh, I am not giving my own name. I am giving inbuilt name only. Page object here. So page object is get page method. Page number through it will come the context data. This context I'm sending to there. But in this class based view, what is their context is book model I'm arranging. So automatically get context data through we are getting the records. It's a built in method. See simple logic I'll tell you. Here function based view context is created here query set object. All pages means everything will come from database and stored into here only. Sir, you said that uh, page object is also a built-in attribute. Page object is a built-in, but I am giving here built-in only here. So here, but class based view, it's a built-in. Function based view, we can change any name, not a problem. But uh, how come, sir, it, uh, you said that page object is a built-in object uh, uh, and uh, you can give any name. How can it possible, sir? How is it possible? Class PCD, we can give any name in the sense there is a property actually here. Context object name equal to something like this. You can my context. Here we have discussed already. Now, while working with class based view, this name we can provide into here. This name here only. No problem. In the class based view but default is page object only you are getting confusion because of i am giving page object here this page object again it is going to work there no function based view separate class based view separate you can think once class okay, based view all get context dot uh, underscore that uh, get context the data is called as a function Whenever we use this one only, see the thing is when we execute this one into template name pages.html, page made by three records are there, model is book only, but who will bring context data? This context data will bring this a try block. If user is trying to enter any wrong number, it will execute except a block only. That's a matter of Get underscore context underscore data means we are getting the data from model. What model? Book model. In the getting process, you sometimes user is entered some wrong page number. We can go to accept the block. That is only matter. 
Yet star arch means number of values, means number of records are coming, you know. Uh, star star KW arch means number of keyword arguments. Each record having ID, name, uh, title, author, and description. value. That is uh, tell me. No, sir, nothing. Star arch means number of records. Star star KW arc means each record can have key and value pair ID equals to 1. ID is a key, 1 is a value. Title equal to Python. Title is a key, Python is a value. Author equal to PSF. Author is a key, PSF is a value. This is that only. This is what number of records. 3 records. 1, 2, 3. Number of records. Star R allows us to pass number of values. Star star KW R allows us to pass number of keyword arguments. This will work when the page is perfectly working. If your page number is wrong, it will redirect to page equals to 1 HTTP 404. Only this we cannot bring the records. We have to use get context data only. Detailed view only, only particular ID for it will work detailed view. Just go through this one once page, page separately you can divide. I am telling you in the same uh, class based view, function based view in the both exam, both the ways. But you can do separately so that you will get clarity. In tomorrow's session, we will go for middleware concept. How to work with middlewares, our own middlewares. How to work with multiple middlewares. Where exactly Sir, we use middleware. at the in earlier sessions of uh, Python, I asked you a doubt that uh, how how would we uh, give the multiple values at runtime uh, in the array section, sir? Uh, you told that uh, those are called labels, and uh, I uh, I gave you the brief uh, detailed information about that in the next further classes, but you didn't uh, give the uh, give that uh, session, sir. So that's why I'm asking you. What you are asking, tell me what's your question now. Array, uh, suppose I want to give uh, multiple values at the runtime. Hmm. Uh, you told that uh, that's is not that, possible. Uh, uh, you said uh, Django or Python you are asking? Python, sir, Python. Uh, that's what Django related, uh, Django. In the context of Django, you asked, or else Python context you asked? Python context, sir. But uh, you uh, you told that uh, labels concept at the uh, here only, sir. Django classes. So that's why hmm. I'm asking. No, I'm not aware. What you what did you ask? Okay, just let let's mail me so that I'll get clarity. What you asked? Okay, sir. Okay. Hmm. I forgot literally. Yeah. You want you are ac you want to accept the values multiple values at runtime to yeah. where in, in array? Ah yes sir. We can accept any number of values from the array. No, you can decide the length of the array and accept one by one and uh, loop through. You can iterate and assign them. No sir, I give the list of values. Uh, okay sir, I'll mail you sir. Okay. Okay.